Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. And today I have here BlackBerry Hub on my Nexus 6. Um, so you heard right, BlackBerry Hub on my Android Nexus 6. Um, so today um, BlackBerry decided to release uh, its BlackBerry Hub onto Android, onto any Android device running Android 6 uh, and up. So any marshmallows out there. And that's pretty much it. Um, so BlackBerry has been on a rough ride, of course. Um, it's been on the decline on its uh, device sales and everything, but its software sales have been on the rise. So they're trying something different. So uh, BlackBerry, uh, like you probably know already, um, has released two new Android phones, uh, the BlackBerry Priv and then the BlackBerry D-Tech, I think it's called D-Tech 50. Um, and now they're releasing its uh, software um, for everybody to use its own software. Um, so the first one that they released today, BlackBerry Hub, um, which you could download, like I said, for only if you're running Android 6.0 and up. So when you open it, it's pretty awesome, pretty simple to use. Um, it looks exactly just the same like if you were running um, a BlackBerry device like the BlackBerry Priv. Um, on Android. Um, so here you have the BlackBerry Hub. Here's your hub. Here you can see your tweets, what people have favorite, uh, what people have retweeted about you, liked about you, messaged you on Twitter. Um, there's also, you can also see your text messages, emails, um, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, all in here, but I don't have any Facebook or Instagram uh, stuff right now on it. That's why I'm not seeing any of that stuff here. Um, and my email, I didn't want to show my email stuff, of course, so that's why I'm not showing anything with email um, here. So here, when you click this little blue dot here, this little blue button, you got to compose anything you want. So if you want to send a text message, you could send text messages, you could send an email, you could compose a tweet, uh, send a direct message on Twitter, post a Facebook status, open Skype or open Instagram or text any of the people on the top there that it might suggest for you. Now, here, of course, it's your um, BlackBerry hub list, I guess I'll call it. So you could go to settings, um, you can share the app, of course, add an account and control how you want to look at your, which accounts you want to open, which accounts you don't want to open um, through here, or I mean through the settings, you could do that. But here you can see every account I have open. And so yeah, that's BlackBerry hub. And then of course, when you pull down, you get to see your calendar because when you give permission to it, it wants to see the calendar so it can set up a day for you. Um, so as you can see, walk at eight, walk at eight, whatever, um, up there with oncoming advance. So it's really nicely designed um, and it's really nice and neat. Uh, so like I said, it's a free download in the Play Store, but it's a trial base. So. This uh, BlackBerry, it, what it's trying to do is, of course, sell its software to consumers now. Um, but you could also download this for free. So you could download this app for free right now in the Play Store if you're running Android 6.0. And then it's 30 days free trial right now. So right now I'm using the 30 day free trial um, on, on my Nexus 6. And then after my 30 days are over, uh, you have the choice to pay 99 cents per month to use its software to use BlackBerry Hub on your Android phone. Um, or you don't have to pay anything, but it'll, they will show you ads instead in the bottom or I don't know where. They're, they're gonna show you ads on BlackBerry Hub every time you open the app. So it's 99 cents uh, after your free trial is over. And it's pretty cheap. And if you're a BlackBerry fan and you want something uh, to organize your life and help you um, uh, um, be organized in social media stuff and everything. Um, I recommend you download BlackBerry Hub um, and try it out for yourself uh, because it's really useful. Um, and I'm a fan of BlackBerry um, and I've wanted to buy one of their Android phones, but they're pretty expensive right now, so I'm not going to right now um, and play around with it. But now they're bringing the software to Android. We're probably going to see much more software related stuff from BlackBerry uh, coming in into Android. Um, and they also said that they're trying to look at iOS as well. Um, so we can see in the future maybe BlackBerry Hub maybe in the future coming to iOS 
or other cool software to iOS but right now they're playing around with Android um, and so yeah that's pretty much it that's Blackberry Hub for you guys and I will see you guys later peace